and welcome to HES Furry Tales. Um, I'm Janine and this little one is Journey. Journey is about one years old. She's a long hair black kitty and she's looking for a forever home. She right now is living in our ocean room and that's where I am um, coming to you today um, in the ocean room and the ocean room is a free roaming room where the kitty cats get to um, Sleep and lay and play on all kinds of furniture and hang out with each other until someone adopts them so um, These guys are super happy in this room as you can imagine and uh, Journey is especially happy. Let's see if I can get her to lay down without being on top of the book we're going to read. All right, so um, today, before we start our book, we our book talks about trust and patience. So we're going to talk about those two things and what they are, and you can be thinking about them in the book. So trust is kind of when you, uh, you trust someone to maybe take care of you or be kind um, or honest with you. And so a good example of that is maybe you trust that your parents will always take good care of you or you tell your friends a secret and you trust that they'll keep that secret for you. And patience, patience is when um, you, uh, oh gosh, what's a good way to describe patience? Um, it's when you accept maybe having to wait on something. So a good example for that would be maybe you're ready to go to the playground and your grandma calls to talk to your mom and so you have to wait maybe five or ten more minutes and so patience is waiting without getting angry or mad and um, we all have to exercise patience lots of times in our life so um, journey is being patient as she waits for someone to come adopt her so she says i'll be a happy cat and i'll wait for the right person to come adopt me Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is friendship. And so I want you to think about um, how long does it take sometimes to make a friend? And how do you feel like maybe the first day of class when um, you go in and maybe you don't know all the students or you don't know your teacher? So um, what's that like and how did you feel? So that's going to be kind of the topics of our book today. And we'll talk about them um, at the end of the book. If you have any comments or if I ask any questions, please feel free to um, put your comments in um, on Facebook. And maybe mom or dad will have to type them for you. Or maybe you can type them yourself. And we'll talk about them at the end. Okay. So today we're going to read the story, Ginger Finds a Home. And this is by Charlotte Vokey. And as you're looking at this book, who do you think Ginger is? And where do you think, um, and where do you think this kitty cat is in the book? All right, okay, so let's get started. We'll find out. All right, so Journey has decided she's gonna she's gonna check out the other kitty cats and we'll go back to her and visit her later. <laughs> um, okay, once there was a little orange cat who lived in a patch of weeds at the end of a garden. His ears were black with dirt, he was very thin, his fur stuck out, his tail was like a piece of string. So you can see he's, he's got some funny looking hair and his ears are kind of dirty. He drank water from puddles. He looked in trash cans for things to eat. So there he is trying to find something to eat. Every day he searched for food and every night he went back to his patch of weeds to sleep. Then one day everything changed. The little cat had found only a bit of bread to eat 
and he was cold and hungry as he came back to his patch of weeds. He stopped there. He stopped. There on the ground was a plate of delicious cat food. He couldn't believe his eyes. There's his food. He looks very surprised. He gobbled it up and went to sleep. He had never slept so well. That looks like a very happy kitty right there. <laughs> the next night, he found another plate of food waiting for him and something else. A little girl. Hello, she said. She tried to stroke his fur, but he was frightened and ran to hide in the weeds. See you tomorrow, said the little girl. I'm thinking that maybe this little kitty didn't trust the little girl just yet. But the little girl said, that's okay, I'm going to see you tomorrow. She came to visit him every day. She brought him nice things to eat. She called him Ginger. <laughs> Soon, Ginger looked forward to seeing the little girl. He came when she called, and when she stroked him, he purred. The little girl loved Ginger. Ginger, she said, you can't stay here. Why don't you come with me? Or why don't you come home with me, actually? So Ginger followed the little girl home. He had never been in a house before. He looked in all the corners and under all the furniture, but poor Ginger was so nervous that when the little girl tried to shut the door, he ran out into the garden as fast as he could. The little girl looked outside. She couldn't see him anywhere. Ginger, she called. Kitty, 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 she called. But Ginger didn't come. I frightened him away, she said. He doesn't want to live with me. The little girl was very sad. She was so upset. She didn't know she was so upset that she didn't notice when Ginger came creeping back in. Meow, said Ginger. Ginger, said the little girl. Now Ginger lives with the little girl in her house. He is a very happy cat. And the only time he ever goes back to the patch of weeds at the end of the garden is to sunbathe. So let's go back and look at this story just a little bit and talk about trust and patience. So I'm going to jump back to, hang on one second everybody. So the first time that she brought food and then she started coming back, I think that Ginger was not quite trusting that little girl because he didn't know her yet. But she was very patient. Let's see, let me go back here. Because she came back every day, day after day and brought him food. And then when she stroked his fur, well, he went back into the weeds the first time she tried to pet him, but that's when she said, I'll be back. So that's when she started coming back every day. And she gave him a name, Ginger. So he started to trust the little girl because she came back every day. And soon he looked forward to her coming back. 
So the little girl had a lot of patience to come back each and every day, even when he was afraid of her at first. So it took some time for that friendship to develop. And even when she brought him home, he trusted her enough to follow her home, but then he was still scared. But not scared enough to go completely away because, let me jump back to this page, I think Ginger started loving the little girl too. And so he came back. So I think this story shows us that friendship sometimes takes kind of a long time to develop. You've got to have trust and you've got to have patience. But what a great story. I think uh, that little girl really loved that kitty and he decided he loved her too. So that is our story for today. Um, what I would love for you guys to do is to think about um, some kind of friendship that you've had with a pet and um, write a story about it or draw a picture and send it to us and we will show it off on the next Furry Tales next week on Tuesday. Have we had any comments? Um, Kathy Alday says that is such a cute kitty, a sweet kitty, and Kathy Mandel has watched with us, and Don Gallagher. <laughs> big all kids. Right. All right. Lots of big kids. kids. All the big kids. Well, that's okay. We're just getting started, so we're sure to have lots of little ones following us soon. Um, all right. Let's see. So, if you enjoyed this story, um, the Humane Society could always use your support, and we would love it if you might think about making a donation at our website, which is heschat.org. And, um, oh, let me tell you about what we're going to do on Thursday. So, every Thursday at 4 o'clock, we do enrichment for your pets. We're going to do cat and dog enrichment. So, if you're a kitty lover, um, you might want to round up some chopsticks, some shoe strings or yarn, and maybe some pieces of felt. Um, I think maybe out of a craft box that you might have. And if you're a dog lover, a couple of tennis balls and some old material. It could even be an old t-shirt, but be prepared that we're gonna maybe cut it up a little bit. So those are some things that we are gonna use on Thursday and we hope that you will tune in and we'll show you how to make some fun stuff for your pets. All right, everybody, um, have a great day and remember to always love your pets.